I guess the first question to ask is, are you a boater yourself? Yeah, I, uh, I am. Um, I learned sailing when I was uh, uh, seven, eight on the River Thames, and uh, so I've always loved it. And uh, when we started having a family, we um, bought a nose boat. So, uh, yeah, I'm a proud owner of a Sunsea. Uh, very good. Do you want to tell us which one? Uh, Manhattan 64. Fantastic. That must make you a reader of Motorboats Monthly. I do read your magazine, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's great. It's, I've been to the uh, London Bay Show many times. I've been down here, so I've had to go through many times. But it's the first time I've come as a minister. So it's been really fantastic to get an insight into how well the industry is doing, what the trends are, what the issues are doing, and see that we need to work a bit harder on it. But it's particularly special because this is a sector that the UK is a world leader. And if you look at the whole of the marine industry, it's power boats that uh, we're being most successful in. So it's great to come down here and see some of the latest products which are on offer. And is there anything you've taken a particular shine to out of the pond? Well, I think it's the, the thing that's striking is, is the diversity and the innovation and the scale. I mean, clearly there's a trend that's called the big boats. But we're not just good at the big ones. We have some, I think, it's the emphasis that the industry has made in terms of design innovation. Uh, when I talk to people, as an owner myself, um, British motorboats now have a reputation for very high quality, real design innovation, particularly the use of space, the use of modern materials. Um, and that's something which has led to the current success, it's something we must let up. So it's about investing in R&D, making sure we've got facilities here and skills. I think that's something the government can really, really help with. It's also very important to make sure we don't over-regulate the area. Because boating is about freedom, it's about people, particularly young people, getting out and trying to try things. And we as a government need to be really mindful of the way in which we use regulation, things like health and safety, etc. It's all in a way which um, allows it, and that freedom. It's interesting you mentioned regulation because obviously a great concern for a lot of our readers is the um, possible uh, drink boating legislation the government's planning to introduce. Um, what, are you, what are your thoughts on that? Well, my own personal view on that is having been around boats um, for you know, most of my life. I haven't personally seen this as a particular problem which we need to regulate for. So I think we need to be very careful to make sure that there is a substantial problem here that we need to take action on. Is regulation absolutely necessary? Uh, I think it's important that we have a light touch with regulation generally. That's something which I'm trying to foster through the government. And uh, I think that we, um, we understand the concerns that this community has about this possible regulation. And I'm keen to make sure we take those views. So, you, you speak as if um, you, you think uh, the lack of, a, kind of any kind of drink boating law is a good thing, but it, it seems to me the government is dead set on this path. I mean, what can we do to you know, educate them that this isn't a necessary measure? I think that's the most important thing, is to make sure that there's proper engagement with the government, um, including myself within that, to make sure that people, when considering possible legislation, understand the effects um, and that engagement won't be wasted as a government will do this and we'll take it very seriously the whole agenda around uh, uh, better regulation, making sure that regulation is effective. There's, there's absolutely a need for regulation in some cases, but we don't want to over-regulate and we need to make sure that if we are introducing regulation that it's addressing the real need. So um, I've taken all that certainly from people here. It is a concern within the sector. I know from reading your magazine and others, it's been running as an issue for quite some time. Uh, but um, certainly today, this is how I'm carrying on taking it back. Another big issue that uh, our readers are facing is the onset of increased diesel costs. Um, as of 1st of November next year, um, voters will be paying more for diesel than any other person in the country because most of the diesel sold um, is of a higher sulfur content than the forecourt diesel. I just wonder what your thoughts are on that. Well, firstly, this is something which, in the government, we recognise is an issue, which is why we built so hard in Europe at this point. We also recognise that there are some major implications of this in terms of infrastructure complexity that's going to be introduced as a result of it. So I think what we need to do is keep on thinking about how trends are going to develop the use of fuel for the community. 
yeah, there's a lot of fun going on in terms of making different aspects of the environment more friendly. There's a big consideration going on at the moment in terms of the effect of taxation on fuels to encourage uh, drives to refuse the technology to make things more environmentally friendly. So some of the innovations which we see have been uh, promoted, for example, in the um, car industry have applicability in the motor and we need to look very carefully at how we can actually do this because yeah, we don't want to see that there's this differential between different sectors that use the same fuel. We do want to see that people make every effort they can to use technology to improve the environment and the friendly effect of what it is they're doing. But at the same time, not to restrict people's ability to do what it is they enjoy with their, with their motorbikes. So we're very pro the whole successful development of the motorbikes, the motor activity, the motorbike industry. Um, but we certainly are looking very actively um, in the area of how legislative changes, tax changes, and fuels, infrastructure issues around the fuels, how, how they can be brought in to make a positive impact on the environment whilst allowing people to enjoy their motorbikes. So this government is pro-boating. Yes. Fantastic. Lord Jason, thank you very much. Thanks. Sir.